Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. I'm stoked to be back and I'm back doing vehicle reviews and I have this bad boy, the AT-AP, for review today. Now, this also comes in a vintage collection box and I've been looking for one of these for a while but I was just super stoked to pick one of these up. It's mint and sealed and really looking forward to opening it up and checking it out. Okay, let's check it out and have a really good look at the box. So. This is from Star Wars The Clone Wars line and this one is the grey with green which is the same version that was in Revenge of the Sith and comes in the Vintage Collection box. You see on there, package converts to diorama, firing projectile, ATAP, the all-terrain attack pod. Have a look on the back. It's pretty cool, an image from The Clone Wars and some of the features, all the things that swivel and fire and all that cool stuff and then down the bottom there a couple of other vehicles from that same line on the side there another image repeated that image on the top Star Wars! As I said earlier this is mint in box so there you go there's the diorama you can see an ATT there and is that on Ryloth? I think that's Ryloth where they attack with the the Blurgs or whatever. Anyway, that's the cardboard backdrop. Let me know. Um, also comes with the instructions. And I love these. The little toy catalogues to let you know what else you could buy at the time. Some pretty cool figures in there actually. Oh, it's, the, it's got advertisements for the vintage collection. That's pretty cool. Wars. Those little games, that's still a pretty decent Greedo, I think. Anyway, we're here for the vehicle. And this is how it comes packaged. Plastic free packaging. Okay, and here are all the parts of the vehicle after I've taken them out of the packet. There's the top cannon. Looks like the underneath cannon. Main cannon, projectile the main, what do you call that, probably the turret and got the legs there, so the outer legs were green on them, bit of articulation and then you got the stabilization leg which doesn't really have, appear to have any articulation at all, let's uh, get it together. Okay and there it is standing pretty upright on two legs and there's lots of swivelly bits so this turret at the top swivels not sure if that's supposed to swivel or just stay in place. Whoop. And then these doors do come up. So you can put a couple of troops inside there and then one on there. And then you've got this third leg thing which is for stability. But it's much shorter than the other legs as you can see. So you have to kind of... I'm not actually sure. I guess these have to go right up like that for it to have all three legs on the ground which seems kind of awkward we'll see if we can do that okay so that is the configuration where you can get all three legs flush on the ground and let's have a look and see what it looks like with some troops in it okay there it is loaded up with Kashyyyk troopers and even though these guys are small you can see they really struggle to sit nicely but you can still get two in the cockpit and one on the turret there. There we go. We had to pan out quite a bit for this shot. There he is escorting the clone turbo tank and you can see scale wise the clone turbo tank is severely underscaled because these things were just tiny beside it but still pretty cool to, to have them together nonetheless. Okay, and there he is with a VC-45 Phase 1 clone, and he fits in there much nicer than the Kashyyyk Troopers. And yeah, it's a pretty cool little set. It's going in for a bit of a closer look. If we have a look by the gunner there, there's a little decal that places in there for sort of like a targeting for the cannon. And then these things open up and inside in the cockpit you can see there on the console another decal there you can see there's a bit of a detail in there some 
rivets and paneling for the floor, some detail for the seats and controls. Bit of green camouflage on that leg, but really what it lacks is a bit of weathering. I think it would look really nice with a couple of washes, maybe a bit of mud around the feet. Uh, a bit of scraped metal, that kind of thing, it would look really good. I still think it's a cool piece and I'm really glad I picked it up. I'm running out of room big time in my garage, but for the meantime, he, the ATAP, the all-terrain attack pod, is going to hang out here next to the ATTE and a whole bunch of Phase 1 clones. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm middle-aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures. Kakite, and I'll see you on another video.